What's going on, everybody? This is D-Bullet 72, Can't Stop God. And I'm going to tell you something right now. You know, um, you know when people go try to go go try to make you seem that 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 you're not saved. I'm talking about ritual Christians who who's exposed in darkness, exposed in wickedness, especially talking about the wickedness of LGBT and men wear makeup or dresses and skirts and whatnot, which the Bible forbids, right? You know, they're gonna have the nerve to talk about some. They're gonna pray for you or whatnot. But guess what? Uh, their prayers is an abomination, and and um. You know, they're going to try to make you seem that that um, that you're not saved and, and you're wrong for that and whatnot. You're not trying to be mean or whatnot, but you going along with the Bible. Real true Christians um, will warn those. I don't care if it's, uh, you know, those in um, uh, being in the Freemasons, secret societies, those in the doing sign of my abominations and lesbian abominations and cross-dressing and stuff like that, right? You know, um, the Bible makes it very clear that, you know, real true Christians do not fellowship with darkness, understand? Rather, they're exposed to, understand? And that doesn't mean that you hate them, understand? They always gonna try to put words in your mouth like you God, understand? Um, like, like, like what they, they're gonna say, are you God? Now, who, who who says I was? Understand? I'm just telling you what the word what, what the word of God says, and I'm not gonna sit up here again. I'm not gonna apologize, and this is <laughs> definitely goes out again to my stepdaughter, to her so-called friend. They are not saved for real, and um, I don't need your prayers. Understand? I'm just to let you know right now, and uh, just to let you know right now that um, the Bible makes it very clear that. The Bible says to judge righteous judgment. Understand John 7 24. You were known by the fruits. Matthew 7 21. Um, when it says that uh, uh, not everybody says to me, Lord, Lord, we're entered to the kingdom of heaven. And that's you. And many will say to me that day, have we not prophesied in their name, Lord, and cast out devils and done wonderful works? And the Lord will tell you, I don't know you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. Meaning that you think that you uh you profess that you know God, but indeed you deny him, uh, abominable and everything reprobate. The Bible makes it very clear to those who are in the Sodomite transgender community, for real. Just to let you know, you know, um, we're not brothers and sisters spiritually. Understand? We got two different fathers. My father is the Lord is Jehovah Jireh, understand? And your father is Satan, Johnny 44. So just to let you know, just to make a distinction here, and I don't need your prayers for real. You know, <clears throat> you don't want this prideful right now. So which means that pridefulness enters before falling a hard to heart. And let me tell you something. God says that he hates those they committed nakedness, Psalms 5, 5, and six things that the Lord hates, seven of them, abomination unto him, a proud look. You are too prideful right now to listen to the word of God. Um, a lying tongue, you are lying. You are a liar. Hands to shit innocent blood. That means you are for abortion in the womb. You, you is for abortion. And the feet to, uh, that go to um, mischief and witness that speak of lies. And, and those that saw discord among the brother. So you saying that I destroyed discord among the brother? No, you are destroyed discord among the brother by lying, by saying that God loves you for who you are. The God of the Bible does not accept your sin, period. Just to let you know, the Bible makes it very clear that you need to repent of your wickedness and sins. Understand? And see, just to let you know, right here, understand? Again, I'm going to say this. No man should be wearing makeup or no eyeliner. Understand? No uh, glitter or no, um, you know, lipstick or anything in that matter. That doesn't look right on no man. A man's supposed to be real men. So you is not a man. Understand? You is not, I mean, you never going to be a woman. You're always going to be a man. 
It, the Bible says that no effeminate will enter the kingdom of God. First Corinthians 6, 9, and 10. Believe that, read the word of God. The Bible says, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14, that righteousness should not be equally yoked with unrighteousness. What, Bel what Christ have a common with Belial? And what temple of God have a common with idols? And the Bible also says to come out amongst them and be separate, saith the Lord. Come out of those who are living in wickedness. Understand, if you do not, if they don't want to repent and listen to the word of God, you don't hate them. You stay away from them. Mark those that cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine that you once learned and avoid them. He that served not our Lord Jesus Christ, but with their own belly, by good words and fair speeches, deceive the hearts of the simple. You try to, you, you, you can't deceive me. Understand, because I feel it with the Holy Spirit. I know what the word of God says. You may think that you know what the word of God says to try to break it down. Without being saved, without having the Holy Spirit in you, you see the Bible makes it very clear that you twist the word of God to your own destruction. So just to let you know right now, <laughs> um, this I'm not going to apologize. I, look, you need to repent. I understand? I'm not going to apologize to the LGBT community. You know, um, it's not about no LGBT, LGBT community. The LGBT community has a reprobated mind, Romans 1, and so do you. I understand? I don't care. Your friend, which is my stepdaughter, is going on with it. I hate to say this. You will be shot when we stand before a holy God, just to let you know. So, therefore, this is a message to both of you. Period. For real.